What's up guys? Steve here again from RC Tanks and Trucks 24-7. this video I'm going to be showing you the what's in the box for the Hercules Hobby 114 scale RC truck. It's like a flat nose European I think it's an Actros Mercedes I believe. It doesn't actually show the um, the licensing on the box but I do believe parts from it and vice versa fit and these are like half the price. I've never had a Tamiya RC truck. I've had tanks but not the truck so I know they fit the parts so that's pretty cool. Now I'll do a really quick build series on this, not, not every step, I'll put it together, show what it is and then move on to the next. But what I thought this project would be really cool for, or another um, experiment, if you've been watching my channel you'd notice that I've been pretty happy with these guys. If I can get that in, get rid of my mug. Now that is a single cylinder overhead cam four stroke nitro motor. Now I put that in a 1.8 uh, scale crawler with pretty good success all working and stuff. And I was thinking, my crazy self, I wanted to spice it up a bit, not bore with the same old things. Imagine if I could fit it, if I could marry these two together. If I could get that in there somehow. Wouldn't that be cool? Wouldn't a, a little four stroke, because these sound like a little diesel when it's running. Uh, imagine if I could get that in there. If not, I'll use a standard 540 uh, electric motor that you come with it, and I'll just use one of these kits, so these like GT Power, very similar to the MFU system that uh, Tamiya use, but really heaps cheaper. I'll just use that. But I'll, I'd quickly be able to find it out when we start building it if I'll be able to make it work. But wouldn't that be cool? Put that in there. It's a lot of work. If you watch the 1.8 scale uh, crawler series to find out how much it is. It does take quite a lot of uh, work, scratching head, and uh, swearing a lot. But it's all part of the fun, and that's what I enjoy. So yeah, um, it makes me happy, and it makes me smile, and uh, yeah, it gets your creative hat working, that's for sure. So if you're interested, I'll just, in this video, we'll have a look at what's in the box, and uh, yeah, hope you enjoy it. Oh. And if you haven't, please subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get notified of all the good stuff. It's for free and there's heaps of cool videos coming up. Alright, here is a box for the Hercules Hobby 114 scale RC tractor truck. Now, I'm not a, I don't know too much about the Hercules Hobby brand, but I do know the 114 scale Tamiya trucks, and I, I believe that the parts on these fit each other. doesn't actually have an, uh, what type of truck it is, but it kind of looks like an Act Cross, I think it is, or a Mercedes, very very uh, European style flat nose truck, but it does look pretty cool, and it also does have a three speed transmission, uh, which I love, and also does include a 540 motor, but you all need to buy the, the transmitter, uh, the two servos, electronic speed controller, battery, and all that kind of good stuff. But, uh, let's have a quick look. Servo controlled, constant mesh, three speed transmission, coil spring shocks, Highly detailed body, front mounted motor and rear wheel drive, custom plated wheels, so there must be chrome, semi pneumatic tyres, coupler unit for separately available semi trailers. So, it's so all the stuff that the uh, Tamiya stuff does have, but probably a, a half the price. So, there's not much else on this box, so let's just get into it. Now, I'll do a, a semi build series, I'm not going to do part by part because that gets a little bit boring. I'll show you what you get and the steps and maybe that kind of stuff. But if you've been following my channel recently, you'd notice I've been doing. Um, the Toyan uh, single cylinder gas conversion for some of these cars and I have another motor now I put one of these in a 1.8 scale crawler and I want I don't know I might call me crazy but that'd be pretty sweet in a truck don't you think we'll, we'll, we'll see if that's possible when you do these conversions you need reverse that's a major thing and it breaks obviously and it's hard to kind of convert a brushed or brushless RC car electric to a nitro it's easier to convert nitro to electric because the braking system of reverse is in the motor in the uh, electric motor but here we go first up right on top a nice instruction manual gives everything you need so obviously all that stuff there you can pause it if you want you can tell straight away that the uh, manual is nowhere near as uh, polished as the Tamiya stuff but it uh, it's more than enough to get you through it and put it together that's for sure nice sticker kit nice little chrome ones there so it is an Actros there you go Actros so it is a Mercedes Act Cross. Did you say Act Ross? Not sure. Alright, let's just go through the fags. As you can see, it is all hard plastic, like Tamiya. 
Uh, obviously you need to paint these all black or whatever color you want. This looks like the interior so you can probably just get one can of uh, flat black and just paint, paint all that or whatever color you want. Chrome pieces, the light buckets, the, uh, the logo. See it's weird on the front picture, it doesn't have it. Maybe it's something to do with licensing but it does have the Mercedes logo and all the other good stuff. More, more, more is a lot here. Oh, mud guards, so at least you don't have to paint them. They are black plastic. More mud guards. These your uh, dips, front and rear looks like. Or oh, we two at the back. Oh, this is like the rear deck or something interior part. More components. There's a lot, definitely a lot exactly like Tamiya's. So there we go. Fuel tanks or the yeah, reserve tanks or whatever on the side. It's probably where you put your electronics. More interior. It's like the air filter and some other stuff. I've never had an RC truck. Um, I, I do like tanks and they're pretty similar. You get 1 16th stick, um, scale RC tanks. They normally put on the flatbed trailers for these. That's very similar in scale. Nice windows and they have like a tint to them so that's cool not just clear plastic some front grille components lights and all that kind of cool stuff door handles but from first impressions the mold looks very good you'd be hard pressed to find a difference between this one and the tamir one but uh looking in uh, one thing seeing the flexibility and uh i guess the durability is another i actually like this kind of flat or matte type of white so i'm going to leave it uh, I like, I love white, it's my favourite colour, so there's that. You can see the flashing and all that stuff is very minimal. It does look like a nice piece of kit. Saying that, oh that's just a... What if they've actually bought the moulds? They are a fairly reputable company. They have a lot of RC cars. There's a front half, obviously you cut all that out for the, for the roof there, but uh, there we go. So that, did I say that was a front? Goes like that. How cool is that? So probably a lot of space in there to mount your electronics and all that kind of good stuff. And I will definitely figure out where to put it all, but first impressions are nice. I like it. I prefer the, um, the bull nose style trucks, I believe, over these flat ones, but uh, it is what it is, you know. And the link's in the description when I go check it out. Oh, these bad boys. As you see, channel, obviously, metal frame. Things nicely pre drilled. No sharp burrs or anything I can feel. So that feels really good. Quality is there. And I've seen some videos where some people have been putting them together as well on camera and it seems pretty cool so there's more than one build series you want to guess watch someone put something together you can watch them wow check out this so obviously more hardware more hardware this is the gearbox housing that's what that looks like the two halves of the gearbox housing some nice clear trimming so that'll be for your blinkers and lights the rear coupler for the trailer Oh, so it must be, you might be able to do a static one and one of them will be able to hook up to a server. Oh good, you don't need to paint the lights, that clear colour, you can just use the red coloured plastic. And here we go, there's a room, those rooms look cool. Check them out. I love tank, tank, truck wheels. They just look cool. Very simple but they, they look really nice in my opinion. Last box, here we have all our leaf springs and a super chunky, that, that piece there isn't plastic, that's uh Looks like the steering housing or the front axle mount or something like that but there are your leaf springs there's your tires fairly hard compound they don't look licensed so that's that's why you get that's why there's a cheaper because they're probably not officially licensed for some of the parts that's maybe why you can't see it on the front box of mercedes and like goodyear or bridgestone or something like that on the uh or continental for the tires but they feel nice nice realistic tread pattern you get one two four six eight ten of those i've just noticed something in here ah Look what was hiding. It's a basic 540 size motor. Brush. Normally it's brushed all you need for these. It's a truck. Now in there you get a nice little tool kit and some grease. Another bag of springs and hardware. Uh, leaf springs. There's your all your gears and dips and all that kind of cool stuff. All my favourite stuff. All metal hardware. Hangers for the leaf springs. Screws. 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 And more screws on the engine plate. Or whatever that is. I'm just guessing. Here is your internals for your gearbox now it's good it does include ball bearings it's not bush which thank god for that front drive shaft or rear drive shaft depending and but all that's all your uh, internals for your gearbox pretty sweet shifting forks there you can see and your front plate and rear plate some other metal bags and that is it now if i don't get the conversion to work i do have this now this bad boy container truck lighting and voice vibration system pro it's like the tamiya uh, system but probably a third of the price. I've done a quick video on this before. If I can find it, I'll leave a link in the description and uh, you can go check it out. But it's awesome. It's pretty much has all the functionalities of the Tamiya one. It's got sound effects, 
alarm, alarm two, uh, air discharge, you know, engine start idling, revving, running without semi trailer, running with semi trailer, coup coupler attachment one and two, downshifting, upshifting, engine brake, all that cool stuff. It's also got nine actions for electrical effects. If I get out of the uh, light, you can see the headlight, tail light, speed indicator, fog lamp, turn signals, backlight, roof lamp, hazard lamp, auxiliary lamp. And it's got these special ones as well, which they include engine stop, start switching, horn, support legs so on the container, um, light on and off switching, turn signal, hazard lamp switching, running and revving switching. So, pretty sweet. So, if I can't get it to work, I get this spaghetti wire of goodness fitted in here because it, it includes everything. That's your, don't you need to get a servo for the steering, and if you want to do the coupler, that's it. But all I need to get is a servo for the steering because this includes everything else. There is, that's your ESC. Awesome, eh? Nice little control module and stuff. So I might put that in there, but if, big if, I could manage to fit this in, this truck. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how high it sits and stuff like that, but imagine, imagine a small little four-stroke engine in there. How cool that'll sound. And look, especially if you can flip the cab up like that to hide it. I don't know, boys. I don't know, boys. What do you think? Definitely would be cool if I could get this to work. But, um, yeah, I don't want to bore you too much this video. I'll, uh, like I said, I'll do a semi build series on it. I'm not going to go in depth and stuff like that because it might get a little bit boring. But, what do you guys think? Um, have you guys built one of these before? If you have any hints and tips or anything I need to look out for, or do they go together as well as a Tamiya kit? Because some of the videos I've seen online, they seem to go together pretty well. Oh, and I'll be using my Flysky Noble for the controls as well. So I think that's about it, guys. If you like the video, give it a good old thumbs up. And um, if you haven't, please subscribe. It's for free. It's easy. Click the little button and click the notification bell so you get notified of all the latest stuff including some madness that I might be doing in the near future, especially if, with those nitro motors. I'll hopefully be getting the uh, V, the V4, so it's a four-cylinder in a V configuration. So, anyway, I digress. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. See you in the next one.